lot of people come to me and ask about you know how can they start teaching PMP and stuff like that. Um, so before I get started, let me talk about who am I. My name is Kavita Sharma, and I'm an authorized ATP with PMI. Um, to see who all are authorized, you can go to pmi.org and check all the authorized trainers for different regions. You can also check um, what are the trainings they are, uh, you know, doing. Uh, I can go ahead and publish my training um, uh, schedule at PMI. And this is the seal or logo you would see for uh, the training partners. I became a partner in 2020. So, um, how do you become how do you start teaching pmp and um, it used to be very easy till 2021 you know before 2021 you just clear the pmp exam you are a pmp if you are a pmp in a good standing in the at pmi.org you can start teaching pmp um, but the process has changed after jan 2021 so what is the process now PMI came out with a program called ATP, Authorized Training Provider. And now ATP um, can have certain trainers with them. And these trainers needs to be TTT. What are the, What is TTT? Train the trainer. They should have gone through Train the Trainer course, which is hosted at PMI for the trainers. Um, so there are TTT for PMP, there is a TTT for CAPM, there is a TTT for DA. Um, so if you are interested for PMP, which I assume you are and that's why you're watching this video, um, let's understand you know, what are the options you have. Um, you have two options. You can become either an ATP or you can get attached as the train the trainer, as the authorized trainer with any ATP. So let's explore what is the first thing, how can you become an authorized training partner. So if you search for become an authorized training partner, you're going to come to this website. This is pmi.org business solution, become an authorized training partner. Now it talks about, you know, what are the program details, what are the pricing. You can go ahead and check the pricing. It's it's transparent. It's there. What you need to be. And if you have any questions, you can go to um, channel sales at pmi.org. You can write to them. Um, when you open this, you know, what is the program details and pricing? You can download this, keep it uh, handy with you and you can check. Um, so there are basically two tiers, basic or premium. If you are starting, you might want to choose basic. Um, you get a welcome kit with some marketing tools, which you can host on the website. Um, then you can have some kind of, you know, uh, discounting available and you get one TTT training voucher, one complimentary TTT training voucher. Um, if you are a premier ATP, which is me, um, then you get a two complimentary training vouchers. Um, and if you want to go for additional voucher, you have more trainers, you can buy them and the prices is 5500. Five, um, and that's it. If you want to become an ATP, this is the basic tier fee. Let's say you want to become, you are in America or Europe. This is the fee which you need to pay to become a basic uh, provider. If you want to become a premier provider, premier people get more access to, you know, uh, some kind of uh, uh, cloned questions. Premier ATP also get the, you know, anybody who uh, reach out to PMI and say we want to do trainings. Uh, so you you are the people who would be intimated. Premier guys are intimated. You can bid for that. Um, so you can become premier ATP and it is the, the pricing to become an ATP is um, zone wise. So there are three zones basically. Asia um, is uh, where India is comes under this, sorry, APAC and Latin America come under this zone and India, Middle East and Africa come under this zone, you know, type. This is the least expensive, slightly more expensive and very expensive. 
um, the payment which you give to PMI is only for 12 months. That means one year. Um, and then you, once you are an ATP, it goes through certain audits. They need to see their bank financial. Your company should be a, in good standing for from last at least two to three years. Um, and so on. So PMI before once you gonna go and say you know I want to become an ATP you should have a company and this company should have made some profits you should have done some kind of trainings. So they look for that um, and then uh, the course fee are uh, given here you get to if I'm doing PMP, I need to buy the PMI courseware for my student. So these are the course fee um which you can get from the pmi for example um pmp prep and uh, the exam simulator this is the cost here um you can also do discipline in agile or capm as i said you know there are ttt which are available so these are the ttt's pmp discipline agile and capm um, what else do you want to know? Now we have covered the pricing. We have also covered uh, slightly more, you know, eligibility criteria for ATP. Now most of you who are listening to me probably would not have a firm or an organization. So the so then you need to become an a trainer with someone. With how do you become a trainer? So, um, so I give you an overview of ATP program. So there are many ATPs here. Um, it's these ATPs are so such for who are who all are ATPs available. Um, you can get all the list of ATP at pmi.org. Talk to them and get to know what is their pricing. I I have told you that you know five hundred goes to PMI for the TTT voucher. Um, I'm sure there would be, you know, some kind of um, marker fee which any provider gonna be charging you. So it can be from anywhere from 100 to 150 USDs. Plus, there is also some kind of uh, courseware which you need to get. So this courseware which you get, this is again from PMI. This is. Uh, trainer courseware for PMP. This also is 100 US dollars. So the total cost would come where, so total cost is somewhere around, this is the basic cost, 600 USDs. And there may be certain markup, as I told you, there may be some markup which ATP would want to obviously add to give you. Um, so you, if you go and search for how do I become train the trainer on the PMP, how do you how do I get the um, you know how do I get the authorized PMP instructor badge then you have to get attached with an ATP an ATP once you are attached with you let's say you get attached with ATP one and you become a, uh, an authorized trainer now this trainer you have options to go ahead and do your own trainings so you can do own trainings. Um, you can host a website or some kind of event platform and publish your training schedule. People, there should be some payment gateway or some kind of mechanism. How do you receive the payments and you can start teaching. How do you teach? The instructor material is already given to you as part of this course. So you can start teaching. However, the student would also need to get the access to the course material. Now PMI has that course material. So for each student, you need to buy that course material. How would you buy that course material? You can again go back and ping to any ATP. So let's say there are many ATPs, ATP 1, ATP 2, and ATP 3, um, which you know or are working with. So you become authorized trainer from ATP 1. However, after some point of time, this ATP came to you and they said, you know, we want to do trainings um, and are you available? Since you are an authorized trainer, 
you are not bounded to any ATP. You can go ahead and start giving trainings here as well. You can start do the training with other ATPs or you can start doing independent trainings to the organization or to the student retail. Um, to buy the course for your student, you need to get attached with some ATP. You can now buy it from here or here or here. You cannot, however, you cannot buy it directly from PMI. PMI works with only ATP. So you cannot do this. This is not available. So you need to use ATP to buy the you know courseware for your student. Um, so work with your ATP and find out you know how much how much pricing for that courseware they're gonna do along with the markup. So that's there. Um, what else is available? So for you, the next step, I hope I have covered everything. So um, let's recap. Um, how do you, you, you have two choices. Either you can become a training provider or an ATP with PMI, or you can become a branch out from any ATP called, called authorized training provider. So authorized trainer, and these authorized trainer could be either PMP or CAPM or Discipline Agile DA. So um, what would happen? You're going to search for ATP in your area. You're going to talk to a few of them. And then um, whichever pricing you're going to have, the base pricing, it starts from 600 US dollars. And then it may increase to whatever. You need to find out whether the ATP is good, uh, whether they are willing to listen and are they open. So go ahead and negotiate with your ATP and, uh, you know, get attached with any of the ATP. Um, so what's going to happen when you pay this fee to any ATP? This ATP will go ahead and start the uh, process. Now, how, what is the process for the ATP to do? So ATP would log it to their dashboard. They would have voucher, so they're gonna buy voucher for you. And then they're gonna attach your um, PM. You need to provide your PMI ID to the ATP. That's important. You need to be PMP certified. So that's eligibility for the trainer. Plus you need to know Agile or you would have practiced Agile. Uh, a certification on the Agile is a benefit. So um, get that certificate. Create your resume or your profile updated with Agile uh, know-how. So once the ATP going to attach you with them, I'm going to write, you know, this is the guy, this is the PMID of the person and I can click on that. The process would start for you wherein PMI going to ask you, the first thing which PMI going to ask you is upload your resume. So you need to upload your resume to the ATP site. They would verify it whether you know Agile or not. Once they verify it, another email going to come to you with the access of train the trainer course material um, or online course. This online course, go through that. Um, and there is an exam at the end of the, you know, whenever you are ready. Um, go through that. It's a fairly easy exam. The trainer trainer does not talk about the concept of PMP. Rather, it talks about how should you deliver the training. So it's not a technical um, know-how training. It is uh, more on the facilitation side of it. So learn that. There are a few good things out there. And then give the exam. Once you pass the exam, you are given an ATP authorized training uh, trainer um, badge. So you would receive a badge from PMI which you can flaunt at LinkedIn or at your own website. And you can start with your training modules. Um, so if you want to club with an ATP, you can go ahead and you know work with an ATP to publish your trainings or you can create your own infrastructure wherein you can, you know, your learning management system, Zoom meetings or classrooms and start um, the sales process. So um, that's the entire thing. How much money would you make as a trainer? 
um, I think it depends on how much sales can you do. And various regions, just do a search on the region wise. If you are in U, if you are in UA, amazing number of sales because every middle manager needs to become a PMP. If you are in Canada and if you are in USA, amazing the prices are very high for uh, the PMP training. If you are in America or Europe, again the prices are very high. So you need to see, you know, what exactly um, where is the market, create your connect, and um, you should be able to make good uh, um, sustainable source of income do your own homework so what is the next plan what do you want to be do you want to become an ATP or TTT uh, contact any ATP you can uh, in case you need more help you can go to help at you can write an email at help at kavitasharma.net or you can go to kavitasharma.net there is an uh, there is a program available um, this is the how do you start with uh, the train a train the trainer for PMP instructor you can ping me or you can become a trainer with us this is the costing for you and the process is explained the deliverables are explained so um, this is how the overall process is gonna be how many days it's gonna take for you to become a you know authorized trainer uh, the moment this process is initiated, the moment you make a payment here, um, I will or we will initiate the process for you to, you know, that voucher to be allocated to you so that you can start your training. So that happens within a day and then your resume and all of those things going to take somewhere around two to four days. If you are good enough, you pass within next two days. So within a week you become an um, authorized trainer with PMP, PMI for PMP or CAPM or for any other. So that's it. In case you have any question, you can talk to me or email me. Um, have a very nice day and I wish you all the best. Thank you.